What up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with more One Piece. We are starting a new arc, a new saga thriller bar. I know we have a new opening, which that does mean, if you guys don't know, with the first and last episode, normally it's seasons, but with the openings for One Piece, because they don't really have seasons, the full length version, which is normally available exclusively on Patreon, is available for free for everyone. Click that link in the top of the description. Enjoy that full length. If you enjoy that format and want to consider keeping it, check out the Patreon, where we have up to eight episodes ahead for early access and 16 episodes ahead for super early access. I appreciate you guys immensely. I am super excited. We are watching this on Twitch. It's always a vibe. So if you guys ever want to watch these live with me, we are super ahead there as well. Come on over to twitch.tv slash Darius. Follow the other social medias. I appreciate y'all. I'm not going to waste any more time. Um, One Piece, episode 337 to 340. Let's do it. Real quick, before we get into today's episode, we do have a question over here on the Discord. We do have a Q&A section if you guys ever want to ask me anything, and I'll try to answer it before the next episode. This one comes from Kevin, who is an avid question asker. He asks, now that we're heading into a new arc, or are on our way to Fishman Island, uh, we were warned about the Florian Triangle. What are your initial expectations for Thriller Bark? Um... In terms of spoilers, I don't know anything except there's a skeleton man with an afro. I've seen him in pictures. Uh, in terms of what I expect from the arc itself and or the Florian Triangle, I assume it's a play on the Bermuda Triangle where they said ships are disappearing many. A, was it was like 100 a year or something like that. So I assume whether it's fog, whether it's some sort of external entity damaging these ships, knowing the One Piece gang and the Straw Hat crew, we're going to get to the bottom of it, whether there's an actual reason for that or whether it is just a natural phenomenon that we need to somehow navigate through. We do have one of the best navigators in the world. I'm not too worried about the Florian Triangle. I am curious what this arc is going to bring, though, because I really know nothing. Genuinely, that makes me super excited. Thank you for the question, though, Kevin. I appreciate you. All right, here we go. We're starting episode 337 on the Thousand Sunny. I am super excited. This beautiful Robin. Enjoying her freedom and loving the crew. Luffy's got the new outfit on, looking drippy as always. That's a new record. See, this is why I missed Usopp and the gang. Because Usopp, Chopper, and Luffy are the, the comedy trio. We have an aquarium for fresh fish all the time. Octopus rice and octopus shabu. Takoyaki? Let me see this aquarium because I don't think I've seen it yet. That's so nice that you can have like a little thing that brings down the food, I'm assuming, to different levels because of how big this goddamn ship is. Yeah, you'll drown. Let Usopp be the one. Okay, respect. Look how big this aquarium is. Oh my, look at the view from inside. Oh my god, this ship is incredible. Okay. I feel bad for these poor Octos, but hey. Turning into Octo Man. We gotta fight, work together to fight you. He's just gonna drown. Yeah, the ink can be an issue for sure. I'm trying to think about I've never had octopus just in general, in terms of food wise. Man's gonna drown to death. This man's gonna drown in a pool of ink, inky water. Oh no, this oh oh no. I mean that saved Usopp. You also beat the shit out of him. All this over that's what I'm saying. Sanji did not expect it to be this hard. Zoro still needs a new sword. We got a megaphone for announcements and stuff, bro. This ship is so cool. And I don't know if we should be messing with uh, things being attributed to to other to sea deities, you know? Booze and rations. 
Maybe for, yeah, in hopes of a safe voyage. Fair waters, good weather, you know. I would put it back in the water. I don't know what sort of deities we could actually run into one day, you know. That's what I'm saying. Listen to Usa. Is that a firework? Maybe it's a trap. Maybe it's a signal. As soon as someone opens that, that's when you move in. That's when you get there, you know? A flare. I'm thinking that's a little more nefarious than a simple prank. That's what I would be worried about. What do you recognize? A huge storm will be here in five minutes? God damn. This is going to be our first time seeing the ship go through a storm. Trying to avoid some danger besides Garp throwing cannonballs at us. That was the fastest storm I've ever seen. This is not boating well. You guys ever seen those videos on people who like work or live on a ship and they have to like constantly deal with it? Like, that'd be crazy. The paddle? Soldier dock system channel zero. Ola powered engine. Oh, that's just handy. When you can't have the wind be your main source of energy and propelling, you use cola powered engine with paddles. Again, I'm always impressed by this goddamn ship. Shout out the Thousand Sunny. This is what I was worried about with the Florian Triangle. An insane fog. I like how they're saying that sarcastically and jokingly, but legitimately we are. So some shit might actually happen to us. You never know. A living skeleton. Maybe he has an afro. See, if only they were saying that jokingly, but that actually does happen. They're so fucked up for that. <laughs> that looks like a ghost ship. Yo, oh, oh, oh. Kind of hitting those notes. <laughs> Even them who was joking about it are actually freaked out. Like, come on, guys. These are haunted waters. Man, he's hitting those notes, whoever that is. <laughs> and it's a huge ship. That could be an afro. Don't listen, plug your ears. I can't lie. I would be terrified as well. Being in the Florian Triangle. Seeing this, hearing this. That is the picture of the person I've seen. I can't even see if it's a person. Because it's literally a skeleton. Skeleton with an afro. Who deliver Binx's booze. And just like that, we had the encounter of the ghost ship. Luffy's... Hey! 
Shout out the shout out these four willing to go. <laughs> there are certain things with Luffy as your captain you need to worry about. He can do some dumb stuff sometimes. I won't lie though, I'm loving Nami's new outfit. I bet he's the treasure guardian. Yeah, something tells me it's not that. Alright, there he is. Let's have a conversation with him. He seems like a decent skeleton. I like the music that's playing right now. It makes me feel like I'm at like a fancy club. Let's do have a leisurely conversation. See, I like him. Sanji's not going to like him now. How does that work? <laughs> Yo! Ooh. And he's rather dapper. A nice kicks. He's, a, he's, he's a little a little forward. A little a little blunt, you know? That's a good question. Say, do you poop? That's also a good question. <laughs> Sanji's asking some of the necessary questions, but I'm more into the poop question. Putting all that he just asked aside. Didn't Frankie just join three episodes ago? Now we're getting talking skeleton Afro man. He is tall. I didn't realize how that was the end of that episode went by fast. All right. This is the next episode 338. Let's do it. This is like an old school theme. Like you hear this at like saloons and stuff, you know, when you walk in. Skeleton Brook. That's his name, Brook. <laughs> he has a funny ass laugh. <laughs> Yo! That would be Chopper. That would be me. Harassment skeleton. At least she asks. Consent is big. Got the garlic. Got the evil beacon. Got the cross. Anti evil stuff. That is hilarious. Evil beacon. Evil beacon. <laughs> the growing the afro part is crazy remember luffy with an afro that was crazy afros give you power oh i oh I, his voice actor is super funny <laughs> <laughs> you were supposed to stop him from doing anything crazy. We're ashamed ourselves. That's hilarious. That is a fantastic dining room. And that kitchen is damn near bigger than mine. It is. A decent meal in decades. How old are you? I need to know the details on his skeletonization. But imagine being so hungry your stomach skin touches your back. It'd be horrible. Gotta adjust the bow tie, whatever that is, and your afro. 
俺か俺はルフィだところでお前一体何なんだどんだけ互いを知らねえんだお前 Literally he doesn't even know his name and he joined his crew that's crazy It is a lovely looking feast of octopus Help yourself so we can kick the skeleton out later That's kind of nice my heart feels full instead of my stomach These octopuses were alive in the aquarium. <laughs> you better believe Twanky made this ship and it has everything. <laughs> Want to deck it out, waiter? I don't even know how you can understand them. <laughs> it looks like Brooke and Luffy are the perfect duo for each other. The revive, revive fruit? So he actually died? Imagine having like immortality because of a devil fruit? Five revive fruit lets you come back after death. That's insane. Now I need his whole backstory. Give me the flashback. That was a burp. How long are we talking? Give me the flashback. What the fuck? Homeboy just ripped some ass. Oh, okay, here we go. Damn. That sucks. Naturally, I died with them. I mean... That's ass. Having a devil fruit that doesn't kick in. I mean, eh. finally just can't. That's crazy. My soul returned from the underworld. See, is there an actual underworld? Is there a god residing? See, I need to know so much world building in the show. That's how I would imagine a soul looks, you know? So he was, his soul was looking for his body, couldn't even find it. So by the time he found it, his skin had already rotted off, or what? An entire year? But by then, he'd turn into a skeleton. So, he's... so you're supposed to come back fully skinned and like a normal human. Interesting. <laughs> Zoro's soul would easily get lost for a year. Bro's crazy. You can see his spine going all the way down. What do you see in the mirror? That's very interesting. I was about to say, don't vampires not see themselves in mirrors? I like how they show where a shadow would be. What's going on with all this? Okay. So I need to get the full story. To be continued. Don't just end it like a One Piece episode. I'm curious. How does that work? In the world of light. So, mirrors are just reflections of light, so... Interesting. The light rejects my very existence. Yeah, it kind of does. Gotta remain positive. That laugh is hilarious. Cool. Yeah, the telling of time would be horribly hard in a consistent fog like this. That would fuck me up for sure. Now it's just him. 
Loki, his life is pretty fucking cursed. It does kind of suck. With a broken rudder too, so he's merely drifting. He has no control over where he goes. Obviously, he wants to stay in the fog so he doesn't die, but... Damn, man. That's kind of sad. Now we have to have a whole arc where we just make this man happy again. For the miraculous day. Interesting. And now, once Luffy says something like that, he's gonna do it. So that's our next mission. Get Brook Shadow back. Respectable from Brook. Yeah, you could at least tell us his name. Hey, musician. Does he have an instrument? Guitar? Violin? It's like a violin. Maybe a viola? I love it. I've never heard One Piece music. You know, I've just heard themes and other things. I want to hear someone actually sing and stuff. Let's do it. I love me a good sea shanty, you know? What's going on? <laughs> Back to the evil be gone. Is that like an actual ghost? And Luffy just says awesome. Is it the flare that made us under observation? What is going on? Are those teeth? It looks like a mouth. The back of the gate. I knew that was a bad idea. The treasure god of the, to the sea. So we've been being observed since then. I assumed it was a trap as well. Who though? What was that giant mouth? That was the back of the gate. What the hell is going on? This place looks eerie. The Ghost Island? That's the name of the island itself? Thriller Bark? The ghost Island that wanders the sea. This is our official introduction to the next saga. Thriller Bark. Now I'm learning, I'm learning. We met Brooke, we met Thriller Bark. It's already so different from Eni's Lobby. I'm so intrigued, I'm so intrigued. All right, this is the next episode, 339. What's your heartfelt dream? We got to know who took your shadow, too. That would make sense. Imagine him fighting, how agile he is, you know? Do not drop anchor. He's that fast he can run on water? Interesting. Yeah. That's Luffy for you. That's very interesting. I never would have thought of an island design like this, you know. I need to know what drugs Oda was doing back in the day because I need some of those. You hear of unknown islands, Osis? Sounds like an Usopp disease. 
<laughs> you have set for adventurosis? He does. He really does. I'm not sure you are, Luffy. A ghost, you're gonna keep as a pet and you're gonna catch it. Oh, the, yeah. The waiver. Total of five channels. Uh, I love it. Oh, look at this area. This looks so sick because it's a docking station. The waiver, I assume, with the going merry head. I love that how the... Yeah, that's why they have the paddles because it's a dock and it comes out of the docking station. Again, how does someone come up with something like this? Cola power paddles on the little mini go and the mini Mary. <laughs> Aww. I love that. The mini Mary. That's super cool. Shout out, Frankie, man. Always impressing me. Shout out, Frankie. The Mini Mary is a great idea. Channel Zero, support paddles. Awesome. That's the hobby horse. Channel One's the waiver. Three man recon submarine shark? Bro, I am being more and more impressed by the Thousand Sunny every time I see it. That is so crazy. Soldiers meant to assist the Thousand Sunny's voyage. That's the anchor. I thought we weren't going to drop anchor here. Oh, there are some paranormal shit. There's some paranormal shit going on. Someone's pulling on my man's cheeks. Oh, there's goddamn metro. Oh my god. I, you know, there is some shit in this world that really can't be explained, you know. What is going on? Who are we gonna call? Ghostbusters! Someone grabbed his leg mid-air? Slammed him into the ship? Bro, nah, real talk. What is going on? How do you fight something you can't see? It just licked her. Is it a dog? It is sounding like a dog. Hey man, he took his opportunity to lick Robin while he could. I can't blame him. No matter who it is. They still got their anti-evil gear on them. The three biggest scaredy cats. You know it's bad when Nami has to be the rational one of them. Interesting. Interesting. But you'll forgive me because I'm cute. Hey. <laughs> Why does the one have one eye? It's like Cerberus. It's like sewed it together. 
I did not know that would be an actual thing in this show. Cerberus is the guard of the guard dog of the underworld. Shout out Hades. The watchdog of hell. Can't you communicate with him, Chopper? Tell him to stop chasing us? I wonder if this has anything to do with the beast that's growling on the ship as well. The Chopper, listen to it. What's it saying? Is he saying anything? That's why I love Chopper. He's so handy. He's so amazing. Yep. Yep, yep. Appa? Oh, two of them are dogs. One of them's a fox. We ticked it off. So we've officially made it out of the trench. Now we're on ground level, we're running through some dark ass forest. What did Chopper hear it say? Yep. As in like a fox's sound. Hmm. Now that looks like a vampire. Hildun. See, that's the one thing I love about the sagas and the arcs. They're so drastically different from one another. Like, Eni's Lobby is so different from this one. Skypea is so different from Eni's Lobby in Water 7. Alabasta is so different from Skypea. Uh huh. I wish I could refuse, but it's better than hanging around with Cerberus. Doctor Hogback's mansion. Yeah, the shopper. Has he heard that name before? Is he a famous doctor? Okay. Okay. Who's that? I'm curious as well. All right. This is the final episode of the session. This is 3:40. Are those can half horse, half mummified. Are those like zombie centaurs? Looks like one of them is. This looks like something out of like Nightmare Before Christmas. Looks like some Jack Skellington type shit, you know? It really does. I wouldn't just trust a random drink from a weird looking vampire who snuck up on you. Give us more details about that, Chopper. Really? Famous surgeon. He could have made that Cerberus. They look like so together. Honor. He's earned the respect of doctors around the world. Dr. Hogback. See, I have a feeling he's up to some of the crazy shenanigans going on here. I'm very curious. See, that looks like something else he could have created. They all have these so marks on them. Yeah, that... I don't know. This place cannot be trusted for sure. A lion with a human... Yeah. I think of the doctor from Nightmare Before Christmas. That motherfucker was... He Didn't he make Sally or some shit? Like, this place is fucking weird as all hell. I can't trust Hogback or a single aspect about this place. Hell nah. Ha 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 ha. They're trying to blend in and not be standing out like that. I need Brooke again. Brooke was creepy, but the least creepy here. I have not, Kevin. I'll have to check that out someday, even though I hate horror movies.
They just left them there. In a graveyard, too. On an island like this. Hell no. I would have much rather them take us to the mansion at that at that point. That's him flying away with his bat looking vampire looking ass. That undead rising from their grave. Yep, at that point, I'm getting out of the carriage. I'm running. I'm running toward the mansion because I'm not getting lost in these woods. It's the only landmark we can see. Now we're in the Walking Dead. <laughs> Guys, help him. I'm saying. Watch them be chill. Oh, hell no. Oh! Usopp's infected now. He got the walker virus. Now I'm going to turn into a zombie. They are munching on my man, Usa. Get that man. Go chopper. He just knocked his head off. Oh, hell no. Zombies are weak against fire. That's rotten bad. I just don't even know how to feel so far. This arc is pure craziness and shenanigans. Yeah, unless you're in like World War Z. World War Z zombies are different. Yeah, those are World War Z zombies right there. And here we go. Stuck on the web. We got vampires, we got lion humans. Centaur, Cerberus. All of it looks fucking crazy. Illustrated zombie guide. We at the mansion. Okay, we get to meet Dr. Hogback. Yeah, I'm with that notion. I'm of the opinion Dr. Hogback is a little cuckoo. Cuckoo. Also, looks like she could be from Nightmare Before Christmas. Got the zombie titties. Three plates for dinner? Oh. Why are you throwing plates at us? Sindri? Engaged to her wealthy master. Test his love, she broke all of his prized plates. Uh-huh. That's an interesting little backstory. You're Dr. Hogback. This seems very interesting. We got Dr. Hogback. We got Sindri. Yeah, I mean, I guess. I have to choose between zombies or getting plates thrown at me. Oh, and she closes the door. Uh-huh. I would prefer an explanation right now. Yes, let's get a general gist of what's going on here. Yeah, 
しかし死者の蘇生と言い換えるならばそりゃ全人類にとっての永遠の夢じゃねえ To a certain extent も身近に生き返ってほしい人間の一人や二人はいるはず I don't It's the unorthodox medicine that disrespects God. Yeah, there's a certain ethical and moral limit, you know? Interesting. I think it's going to be a little deeper than that, Chopper. She don't like plates. At least use a bowl or something. I mean, we could put it in a ramekin or a bowl. Interesting. I have a feeling he does. His cane is a sword? That's super cool. Now I'm curious. That was an interesting introduction to this new arc. Interesting. All right. So we're officially starting Thriller Vark, which is the name of the island, the spooky ass wall enclosed paranormal island that has since captured us since we popped open the flare. I need to know like who technically was behind the flare. Was it Hogback? Because he genuinely seems like he's here for research, but there's definitely something deeper and scarier going on because he's, go he's going into the moral gray area of doctors and research and stuff like that, talking about immortality and reviving the dead, which I definitely understand that to a certain extent that people would like to bring back certain loved ones that they loved. And that's a part of the essence of life is letting, you know, so I, that could be a whole hour long conversation, but it's so funny to me with Chopper, Usopp and Nami being the trio, the coward trio here, meeting him, stuff like that. I'm curious where Brooke plays into this. I really enjoy him as a character so far. His story about how he died, came back, soul was missing or looking for himself for a year. That's why he's all skeletonized. I'm so curious about the man who stole his shadow. That's what I really want to know. There's so much going on. I'm hoping Luffy and the rest of the gang can hop in here. Who's going to be our man, main antagonist? This doesn't even seem like an arc where we'd have any crazy fights especially compared to Eni's lobby. Like, how is this going to go? This is like a complete 180 of last. It's so different that I'm so intrigued, but nervous at the same time. And then from this, I know in terms of saga wise, we get into Summit War, which that also seems like another complete 180. I have no idea. Like, just know like normal One Piece endeavors. I'm here for the ride. I'm excited. I got to give a huge shout out to Frankie because that the Thousand Sunny impresses me every time i see it a beautiful ship um thank you guys for watching if you like this reaction leave a like on this video let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section i'll catch you for the next one piece session check out that patreon for the full uncut version don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad peace out